here are the games for the disc system. As you can see, I have a package from Japan. I don't really show people knowing where my address is. Well, whatever. But you can see it's from Japan. You can see all the Japanese squiggly lines. This is the custom declarations. I love how it's a gift. It's not really a gift, I had to pay for it. But, um, it's what's in this box. It says something. And these are the discs. The Famicom discs. Well, I thought they got here that's sticking to. You put tape on the inside, I don't know what the hell that's for. But, here are the discs for the disc system. I'm using the iPad, i got to get used to it. Because it literally magnifies my hands. Mm. A couple of these are new. So, that's a good thing. I like packed this fucking thing. I'm just one-handed, so... Go with me, because... You see outside, not so good. It's hard to get help from the fucking storm out. <clears throat> well, this is almost new. Hmm. It's only been like open a couple times. This is Legend of Zelda, the second one, which is supposed to be easier than the American one. Although one drawback is that it saves your lowest level. So say if you have a level 5 life, level 4 strength, and level 1 magic, guess where all your levels are going to be when you save the game. Yeah. You have to balance your levels and that they force you. Of course the classic Parisu, otherwise known as Pro Wrestling. Isn't it sad? I, this is the only Japanese word I know. <laughs> Mainly because of that. And even though it shakes a little bit, it actually comes with the booklet. Now, if I had the ability to write discs, I would, because Pro Wrestling only uses one side. Let's see if I can get that done. There's people in America that do it. i got to see if they'll do it for me. Mario 2. Oh. Mario 2. This is the otherwise known to you people as the Lost Levels. So you can see it comes with a booklet too. And uh, this again, it's a single sided game. One day I gotta see if I can bring these two games in to be rewritten. Write something on the other side for me. These are the two brand new ones Metroid, brand new. And you're probably, you're probably gonna be weirded out with this, but whatever. This is Nakiyama Miho Tokimeki no High School. And this was one of those idol games in Japan. It was the first of its kind, I believe. There's such a big backstory to it. This was Nintendo's fourth contest game. It was supposed to be. Or fifth or something like that. But there was a whole big thing with this game. that Basically, you're trying to get an idol's phone number. She's disguised herself in high school. You know, obviously the numbers are dead now, but you can actually call numbers that you get to get hints. Um, if you wind up getting her phone number, you can send it into Nintendo and get a VHS tape and a uh, phone card. It's pretty, pretty cool stuff. It was one of the first games that had the, you know, the whole internet thing. And I always, I've read scripts of the story, English translated online, and it's actually interesting. So I'm going to give it a shot. And as you can see, it's one of the blue discs which I'll get to you in a minute as soon as I open these and show you what the difference is. So let's get open these up and take a closer look. Okay, now here's the disc system game opened. Now, if you're searching for a disc system game and you're picky like me, you should be looking for three things. Well, more than three things, but, you know, three main things. The outer box, I'm getting, like I said, I'm getting used to this iPad, so it's closer to my opinion. The outer box... The instruction manual, now some are smaller than others. 
and of course the case itself. Now most of the time for disc system games you're just going to find this and if you do try to get it on the cheap if you can because it's missing like half of what comes with it and also you got to make sure it has the sleeve because that's what protects the disc. If it doesn't have the sleeve don't buy it. Um, if, you know even if it's a rare game because what's the point of paying forty dollars for a rare game if you're just gonna wind up you know screwing up the disc now it opens like this and this basically tells you what's on each side now for this one since it's a 64 meg 64k game it only takes up one side so the second side's blank so this is a used game so before I get it sent out to get rewritten on the second side I'm going to see if somebody already did that for me. I, or, and the Mario one as well. I don't think so, but hey, I've been surprised before. And also I want to make sure that this is still on there. It should be. The guy tested it. Because here's a problem. Now, everybody knows about the disc writers. Now, what happens generally back in the day is that somebody would buy a disc. If they were bored of it, they go to the store, they rewrite it. And that's a big problem because even though it says this on the label... It isn't always this. I've had people um, that bought Zelda discs that have Wrecking Crew on it, Castlevania games that have Zelda on it, and somebody that bought Mario 2 and got Esper Dream. So, now, this is generally what comes with it, and you're supposed to, you're supposed to slide it out like this. If you're going to put it in the machine, just keep the sleeve in there. Now, it's a protective sleeve. comes out like that. And here's your disc. This is a Famicom disc. Now you don't want to. You want to make sure that you really take care of this. You don't want it to get dusty. Nothing, because even if one sector of this disc is bad, the whole game is bad. And of course, um, tabs. Now, you might think that taking the tabs off is going to save your game, and it will. But you also can't write nothing into it either, which means no save games either. Okay, so we got uh, pro wrestling, and on the back, nothing. So maybe it's a blank disc. And this is basically what the disc looks like without a label on it. And of course you got to keep these really well conditioned because these are really much of a pain in the ass. Let's see if I can put it on. So I can protect it a little bit because I need to show you something. Now, this doesn't have a shutter. So you got to be really careful with that. Most of the disc games do not have shutters. But this one does. And here it is. Of course, the same rules still apply, shutter or not. Um, and obviously, you can see it's a blue disc. It has a little shutter. Now, the blue discs are generally contest disc or disc fax games. Now, back in the day, Nintendo wanted to do something like an internet is now. They wanted to connect all the Famicoms, so they created the disc fax system, a sort of a test. And they released games like... Um, Famicom, Famicom Grand Prix F1 Race, which is what it's called, at 3D Hot Rally, and two golf games, one for US, one to Japan, all are blue discs. All blue discs come with shutters. There are no discs that, there are no blue discs that do not come with shutters. If it does not have a shutter, it's broken. And what you would do is you get a high, like you said, you would get a high score or a reach a point in the game. And a lot of times you'd save your name, your address, contact info, and you'd take this to a store that had the disk fax machine, which is generally all stuff they sold disk machines out of. And what you would do is you'd pop it into the machine, and it reads the information on the disk, sends your high scores to Nintendo, puts you on the online leaderboards at their offices, and you know hopefully you got a prize. But yeah, this is a disk fax game. And I bought this brand new, and it doesn't come with and it doesn't come with a sleeve. So I'm guessing from looking at this, and I could be corrected, that the blue discs did not come with sleeves. Okay. So that is the Famicom discs and now it's time to go to the disc system and give these a whirl